Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, Trading Secrets. This channel is for entertainment purposes only. For those of you who do not know, my name is Ali. I have over 20 years experience teaching accounting, economics, business and law. And through this channel, I'll be providing some stock analysis and also an update on our million dollar challenge. So please stay tuned. In the previous video, we looked at the estimated price of common shares in oil coal. And uh, in today's video, I'm going to do a follow on from that with some clarification and an update. Uh, and we're also going to look at three stocks to hold from this week for your watch list before we do before we start that quick reminder of the million dollar challenge so if anybody's not aware of this this is a journey of an investment of one thousand dollars to a return of one million dollars over a period of three years using a strategy called compound return investing so the strategy involves trying to achieve 201 trades each with an average return of 3.5 percent and uh, it's not 201 consecutive trades we do take into account losses once you join the challenge you'll get access to an exclusive in-depth strategy video uh, you'll also get access to our discord community which is now well in excess of 300 where people will be sharing due diligence trading tips technical analysis buy alerts etc in the discord you'll be able to ask questions chat have a get access to the stock spreadsheet and also uh, have a look at our leaderboard the spreadsheet that we provide for the challenge is updated weekly with low and medium risk stocks Many of them color coordinated and we use Google Finance Formula, so it is a live spreadsheet. Uh, we also have a le leaderboard, which you can also see. This is used for motivational purposes to, and also to celebrate success. And this is growing uh, exceptionally well. So join us on this journey. Details in the description below. The first thing I'd like to now do is uh, provide some clarification from the previous video where I provided an estimated price of the um, shares in oil coal so remember this is not an estimated price of the dividend that was covered in a previous video so on the screen here you just be able to see some clarification that i'd like to offer as i think there was some confusion so let's have a look at what uh, i'm uh, sharing with you with regard to the price of shares in oil coal so the estimated value for common shares in oil coal for each mmtlp preference share on the bear case i said it was three dollars so that means uh, for every share that you have in MMTLP, that should net you $4.53. So that's on the bear case. Um, on the bull case, for every share in MMTLP, you should get net you 1.51 1 times 9. And that will sh give you um, uh, approximately $13.59 on the bull case. The next thing I'd now like to provide an update for is an alternative scenario. So on the screen here, you'll be able to see in this alternative scenario, which is certainly... Uh, quite possible and that is a dividend plus shares in oil coal so on the bear case i'm looking at a dividend uh, between 50 cents and two dollars plus your share in oil coal again we're going to look we're going to go with the previous calculation uh, estimated at four dollars and 53 and then on the bull case we're looking at a dividend uh, for two dollars and 50 on the bull case uh, plus your share in oil coal thirteen dollars and 59 this is on the bull case however Remember, in terms of the share price, that will be subject to market forces. And um, in, in terms of the overall best situation that I think most uh, investors want, would prefer, and that would be an overall cash dividend without transfer of um, preference shares into oil co. What I'd now like to do is uh, give a shout out here to MVP Chair, who's made some interesting comments on the channel. And his comments here are, first of all, Latest drilling, go horizontal, 10,000 feet, two miles start production, dollars gas too. Easy for a stock swap with a major. So he's indicating that uh, obviously the, the land is valuable, there is significant gas, there is significant oil. And this, uh, in terms of the best case scenario, is going to give us uh, exceptional value if it is sold. So let's have a look at his follow, follow up comment. And he's also said, hey, what you need to consider is all oil fields are not the same. Like a late model um, car, it, it has high mileage and has been wrecked. And the same model can be pristine with less than 5,000 miles. So good point there. Uh, hence higher value comparison. He's also now saying on a bull case, uh, the yields that you mentioned have one pool or, one, or bench or a grande has five benches uh, and a mass amount of oil per acre. So the latest well has got a rumor to find a bigger bench and should it cover this total acreage, we're looking at a significant amount of dollars. So if uh, this is true, what um, uh, MVP chair is uh, stating, then I think if the assets are sold, then I think all investors will certainly be happy. 
Um, before we start today's stock analysis, I'd like to provide a reminder in terms of what's happening this week. So uh, in terms of uh, the Fed, it is going to be a meeting. So we're looking at this meeting to kick off on Tuesday and also hopefully conclude on the Wednesday. So the Fed is expected to announce that it will speed up the pace of tapering its asset purchase program. So obviously we're also expecting some uh, indication or decision with regard to interest rates. So uh, no major economic data is going to be released on Monday. So fingers, fingers crossed for Tuesday and Wednesday. In the Discord, we always have a weekly watch list which is released and uh, I'm going to sh share with you today three of those stocks that were provided to the members of the Discord uh, from our watch list. The first stock is ticker symbol SGMA. This is also known as Sigmatron International. This is a company that operates as an independent provider for electronic manufacturing services, EMS. So let's start by having a look at the chart. The first chart I'm going to share with you here is for close of play on the Friday and uh, this stock was up in excess of 104.38% up on the Friday closing at $14.94 so again this is a potentially a high risk uh, potential squeeze stock and uh, on the screen now you'll also be able to see the price of this trading right now at time of editing. Let's now have a look at one of the recent articles covering this stock this is from Investor Place and the headline here is what is going on with Red Hot Sigma Tron today. Uh, Sigmatron has reported excellent earnings amid supply chain issues. So this is a good headline, positive headline, and we can see in terms of the uh, excellent earnings which were for the period ending October the 31st. Initially the shares uh, closed uh, straight away up in excess of 80% uh, and the key headline in terms of the financials was that revenue of $100.2 million was up over 44% year on year. Let's now delve a little bit deeper in terms of these um, headline from the uh, earnings and we can see on the screen here in terms of the gross margin this was 11.8% um, and that was also up 2.04% year on year. Uh, cost of product sold for the quarter was $88.4 million uh, also up 27.27% 27 .27 year on year and that indicates uh, growing demand and increasing sales. Uh, earnings per share came in at 69 cents uh, and this was also up a very healthy 360% year on year from a previous 15 cents uh, and uh, in terms of the key headline figure it's reported uh, operating income of five million dollars so certainly no issues here with uh, regards to profitability uh, and let's finish off by having a look at some of the other catalysts uh, for this stock upcoming we're looking at uh, an expected merger with WAGS uh, before end of the year so that should certainly be interesting for the stock so the shareholders of WAGS will receive just in excess of 2.4 million shares of SGMA and that represents approximately 28% of all SGMA shares. Uh, we can also see here in terms of potential catalyst they've also announced a three-year labour agreement with the Elk Grove Village Production Unit so certainly good news going forward with this stock. The next stock I'd like to share with you which was uh, provided in our Sunday weekly watch list in the discord is the symbol MITQ also known as moving image technology so let's have a quick look at a profile for anybody who's not aware of this company so this is a leading manufacturer and integrator of purpose-built technology solutions and equipment to support a wide variety of entertainment applications uh, and it also has a wide range of services including custom engineering system design integration installation software solutions digital cinema av integration as well as customized uh, solutions for emerging entertainment technology Let's now have a look at uh, the chart for this for closer play on the Friday, looking at the previous five days. And we can see that this stock was up in excess of 14.29%, closing at $2.32. So a great week uh, in the previous week. So on the screen now, you'll also be able to see the latest price for tick symbol MITQ also at time of editing. What I would now like to do is share some uh, news with regard to the stock. And uh, I'm going to share with you here a headline article from Yahoo Finance uh, with regard to the company. And we can see here from this headline, the company has received multiple purchase orders for equipment upgrades. So that's a, uh, a great headline. Let's have a look at some of the details here uh, further down in this article. And we can see uh, the company, which is a leading digital cinema technology company. Uh, has also announced uh, three procurement contracts for upgrades. So this is a uh, good news. So these purchase orders are part of a, uh, an upgrade cycle for aging digital cinema technology and equipment and also fueled by, fueled by um, shuttered venue operators grant 
So this grant is good news. It's going to give the company additional cash income. So we can see here further down, as of November the 29th, 2021, motion picture operators have received $1.9 billion in initial funding and $0.6 billion in supplemental funding to help them recover from the impact of COVID-19. So this is great news for the business. And going forward with the impact of COVID-19 and opening up of the economies and the world economies, this should certainly be good news for the stock. And the final stock I'd like to share with you for your watch list for this week is Tximo PTPI and also known as Petros Pharmaceuticals. Let's start by having a quick look at the profiles on the screen here. We can see that the company is committed to the goal of becoming a world leading specialized men's health company by identifying and developing, acquiring and commercializing innovative therapeutics for men's health issues. Let's now have a look at the chart for Tiximal PTPI for closer play on the Friday or looking at the previous five days. We can see here the stock is up a very good 19.47% uh, on the week, closing at $2.70 on the screen now. You should also be able to see the price of uh, Tiximal PTPI at time of editing. And to finish off, let's have a look at positive headline for this uh, stock. Um, and this is a headline from Yahoo Finance. And we can see here the company have announced positive over-the-counter label comprehensive comprehension study results for its erectile dysfunction drug stendra which is trademarked and also known as anvafil so let's now proceed to have a look at the details of this uh, study in the second part of this article we can see here in terms of the study there were 453 subjects including a significant number of low health literacy individuals they reviewed a draft of otc drugs uh, facts label and were assessed to determine whether they could correctly understand nine key communication messages in the label so in terms of the some of the results uh we're looking at 14 secondary messages and uh, it was, the objective was to uh, guide an individual's appropriate selection and use of Statendra in a potential otc setting so the company has stated here uh, that they believe that the top line results of the study demonstrate a strong assessment of comprehension of the draft otc label communication messages and that these label comprehension results will provide a strong framework for discussions with the FDA. So that's the key thing that draws my attention. If the FDA gives approval for this, we can see uh, there's going to be a huge potential for this stock. And at the bottom, we can also see in terms of the overall estimates, we're looking at 25% of the 30 million men suffering from erectile, erectile dysfunction in the US have received oral, oral erectile dysfunction therapy. So great potential and market uh, going forward uh, for the future. And finally, if you would like to receive advanced notification and uh, advanced due diligence of such stocks that we covered in our uh, Discord community, and also if you'd like to take part in the challenge, uh, details are in the description below. You can join for as little as $9 a month. Thank you very much for watching. Please stay tuned.